Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. And in the series I'm putting together, we started off at Olympus on Mars. We went over to Phobos, and that's Phobos right there. In the last video, we lifted up off of Phobos, and now we're on our way over to Deimos. We're doing kind of a little resupply mission here, slash uh, maybe swapping out some crew members and things like that. So in the last video, we got up off of Phobos, completed our burn, to head over to Demos. So let's go ahead, jump back in, and see how things go. Let me switch camera views here. Okay, so we're back inside the XR2. And I'm gonna just kinda, I like to put my mouse just kind of arbitrarily on some spot and say, you know, we're going to do a mid-course correction when we get here. So let's say right there. So we're gonna warp time forward, and when we see our vessel get to that location, we'll come out of time warp and do a little bit of a mid-course. Alright, so we're about there, so let's come out of time warp. And let's bring IMFD back up on this side. We should still have, yeah, we should still have everything dialed in from IMFD. And there's really not much of a correction we need to make, less than one meter per second. And it looks like most of it's going to be inward. So let's actually, I think that might be Deimos right there. And it is. So we can see our target. So let's go to translation. Translation. And without bothering to reorient the vessel, uh, we can just do a bit of translation bumps to bring this uh, closer to the center and or just do all the maneuver, uh, do all the mid course just with, um, just with translation thrusters. And if we watch our closest approach as we do this, you'll see it will come down. So we just have to figure out which uh, directions we need to do this. So it should be this way, I believe. I think I was wrong on that. So that's, okay, so that's going that way. And then I need, okay, so mostly this one. I used control thrust to figure out which one to use mainly. And then I need this one. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. It's getting hard to, for me to tell right now which one I need and I'm already, you know, uh, we're less than two kilometers, so we'll go with that. And we'll, we'll go ahead and warp time forward and maybe bump the translation thrusters again when we get a little bit closer. Um, instead of relying on, or instead of looking at uh, Transex though, let's go ahead and bring up Orbit MFD. Let's reference uh, Deimos. Put that information up onto the HUD and we'll start going by our PET. So we're currently at 11,000 and something. We'll go down to 8,000. Rotation. We'll go down to about 8,000 and then see if we can, you know, what we can do for another mid-course of some kind. Okay, there's Deimos. Alright, so kill, rotate, and let's warp time forward. Let's actually go to 5,000. Yeah, because 5,000 will be about a meter per second of correction, so that'll, that'll make sense. So about 5,000, there we are, back to real time. And again, translation. you know, we'll just see what we can do with translation to figure this out. And that's going the wrong way. Okay, so it's mostly this one. All right, I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna say, you know, again, we're really close to, you know, zero on everything. The forward backwards is a bit off. Let me see if I can do something about that.
Okay, we're really close. So that should pretty much have us smacking into Demos. <clears throat> Alright, so now we are 5,000 seconds out. And what is our distance? It's a thousand kilometers away. So let's uh, warp time forward. Let's get down to, uh, let's say, 2,000 seconds. <clears throat> so we're about 4,000 seconds out. Let's go a little faster, but be very careful with our time warp. And we're almost at 2,000 seconds. All right, let's go with uh, let's go with that. So now we're about 600 kilometers out, and doesn't look like we really need a correction at this point. Rotation. Let's rotate over, see if we can see our target. Yep, we can. Nice, prominent view there in the forward view. Okay, so since we're since the velocity vector is pointed right at uh, Demos, we don't really need to do anything, any kind of correction. So let's get a bit closer. So we're currently let's uh, let's bring up the velocity match program in interplanetary MFD. Turn off the burn vector. Go to switch the page. Go previous, and then hit either plus or minus. Um, that's not what I wanted anyway. So that was dumb. I want orbital velocity match. Target Demos. And so this will give us our distance and our burn time to match the velocity. Now, question is, let me look at burn time. If we need, let's see, so 335 meters a second, something like that. So let's say 340. Using the full power of the main engines, we would need about 2.6 kilometers, but we also have to add to that the radius of Deimos plus some additional margin for error. So let's say celestial body, Deimos, the radius is 6,500 meters, 6,500 meters plus, let's just say plus 3,000 meters. So that would be, let's just round up to 10,000 meters or 10 kilometers. And that would pretty much be if we wanted to stop you know, at the surface, which we don't. We want to add a bit to that. So let's say 15 kilometers. When we're 15 kilometers out, we'll begin the velocity match. All right, and we're going to need to be Translation. Uh, Rotation. retrograde when we do that. So let's rotate around. Bit of time warp to speed all that up, of course. All right, now let's, so we put in 340, so we're good. Let's go with, uh, let's look at our cameras because we can't see, we can't see uh, Deimos now. So let's zoom in a bit on that. Okay, now good on time. Let's go ahead and work time forward, get in a bit closer. And again, we wanted like 15 kilometers to do the velocity match. We'll I'll probably panic and do it a bit sooner. All right, let's start thinking. Let's slow everything down. So we're still at 335. We put in 340 into burn time calculator. So we should be okay with our with our distance that we're that we're going with. We need. Uh, so yeah, again, we have our distance here. Okay, so let's go forward. Maybe we'll go 20 kilometers because I don't know. I don't trust myself anymore. All right, let's make sure we have the velocity match program selected. We're 32 kilometers out. We're at real time. We are 335. We put 340 into burn time. And okay, yeah, I think we're I think we're still in good shape here. So let's uh, split the difference. So I said 15. I don't really trust myself, so then I said 20. But let's go 17 kilometers. And then we'll do the velocity match. And pray that we don't hit it. 
zoom out a little bit. Okay, getting ready to begin the burn. And we're doing our velocity match. <coughs> And yeah, I think we yeah we probably started that too soon, but better to be too soon than to be a splatted dot on the side of a big rock. Okay, so we are. Translation, rotation. Let's go ahead and rotate over, so that we can see where we're going in the forward view instead of relying strictly on the cameras. And then we need to punch in our base, which I'm pretty sure is going to be in the dark. So let's actually take a look at that. Let's bring up map MFD. Let's reference uh, Demos. Here we are, and yeah, of course our base is in the dark. Let's go ahead and target our base. It's called Daybreak. And now let's bring up our Com Nav. And yeah, we already have, it looks like, let me just go off frequency, on frequency, just to make sure that gets a chance to update. But it looks like we already have the information we need. So let's go ahead and start rotating the vessel and heading towards the base. Translation. Rotation. Not sure. Let me. Th I'm gonna have to look at map again. So the base should be over here somewhere. It's probably on the other side of that. Um, so if we go in this direction, we should be heading straight towards it. All right. Let's translation. Translate a bit in this direction. Start moving towards the base. Maybe even a bit of main engine because we have a little ways to go yet. All right, let's work time forward. Close that distance a bit faster. Five thousand. Four thousand. Okay. Rotation. Okay, I want to rotate in a direction that makes more sense to me. Let's see, am I on rotation? I am, but I'm on zero point one. That's why nothing's moving. Feels a bit better if I'm wings level with the uh, body that I'm going over. Translation. Bit of translation in this direction to help out our alignment. Rotation. Bit of rotation. Okay, so we are moving towards. Translation. Rotation. We're moving towards our. Daybreak base. Go ahead and warp time forward, get there a bit faster. 3,000. Still eight kilometers out. Mm, kind of an ugly spot there on the graphics. Okay, back to real time for a moment. Translation. Rotation. Bit of rotation just to get the base more in front of the ship at the moment. Translation. And a little bit of time warp. It's about five and a half kilometers out from the base. Let's go ahead and rotation. rotate over. Okay, I can see the base now. So because we do have some small amount of ambient light, then we can see the glow of the base lights right there. So we are moving mostly in the right direction. Translation. Let's go ahead and translate uh, down. You can see our vertical speed has this kind of climbing up and away. 
Wish we had like uh, reverse hover engines. <laughs> I could roll the vessel over, of course, but at this point I might as well just stick with what I'm doing. A little bit of time warp to speed this up. Okay, so we're almost zeroed out on our vertical speed. And we should see the velocity vector coming down here in just a moment. A little bit of time warp. Okay, so we're moving towards the base at a breakneck speed of 7 meters a second. Rotation. Okay, all right, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here uh, because we are going to land in just a few minutes, but we'll be over 20 minutes by a fair amount, so I'll just try to balance out these last couple of videos so that they're, you know, this one's 15, the next one might be 10 or 12. Go ahead and switch camera views here. Uh, please do hit that like button if you're enjoying uh, the, the ride along. And when we come back in the next part, we will finish our journey over here to Daybreak on Deimos. And once we land, we'll talk about what we plan to do after this. So I will see you in the next video.